Well, the maths and reading skills of 15-year-olds has drastically declined in Australia over the past two decades, according to a new global test. Julia Bradley has the story from Sydney this morning. So what's to blame for the drop in results, Julia? Well, Pete, this drop in results for maths and reading specifically over the past two decades is being attributed to a range of factors. Firstly, maths teacher shortages, also distractions to come from digital devices and also the ongoing impact of school closures as a result of COVID. Now, these results were revealed in a global test known as PISA. This is the OECD's Program for International Student Assessment. Now, the last time this test was done was back in 2018. While the Australian score in science has increased slightly, it remains 20% below the performance of students in 2006, which is the equivalent of the loss of a year's worth of schooling. When you look at maths, the average score has dropped from 524 to 487 between 2003 and 2022, while the average reading result fell from 525 to 490. Despite this, it's important to keep in mind that 15-year-olds majority who were in Year 10 when this test was done last year remained above the OECD average in each academic category. Now, while Australia's performance has declined in these areas since the early 2000s, our position on the list of 81 countries assessed as part of PISA hasn't faltered since the last test was done. This because of an unprecedented drop in student performance overseas. Now, Pete, this test is a key contributor to how countries end up shaping their education policy. This comes as the Albanese government prepares to significantly reform the school system. The Federal Education Minister Jason Clare arguing that a new school funding deal is needed. Pete? Julia Bradley, thank you.